Daniel Tamet is talking. As he talks, he studies my shirt and counts the stitches. Ever since the age of three, when he suffered an epileptic fit, Tamet has been obsessed with counting. Now he is 26 and a mathematical genius who can figure out cube roots quicker than a calculator and recall P to 22 514 decimal places. He also happens to be autistic, which is why he cannot drive a car, wire a plug, or tell right from left. He lives with extraordinary ability and disability. Tamat is calculating. 377 multiplied by 795. Actually, he is not calculating. There is nothing conscious about what he is doing. He arrives at the answer instantly. Since his epileptic feet, he has been able to see numbers as shapes, colors, and textures. The number 2, for instance, is a motion, and 5 is a clap of thunder. When I multiply numbers together, I see two shapes. The image starts to change and evolve, and a third shape emerge. That's the answer. It's mental imagery. It's like math without having to think. Taimat is a seven, an individual with an astonishing, extraordinary mental ability, an estimate 10% of the autistic population, and an estimate 1% of the non-autistic population have seven abilities, but no one knows exactly why. Scans of the brains of autistic savants suggest that the right hemisphere might be compensating for damage in the left hemisphere. While many savants struggle with language and comprehension skills associated primarily with the left hemisphere, they often have amazing skill in mathematics and memory, primarily right hemisphere skills. Typically, savants have a limited vocabulary, but there is nothing limited about Tamet's vocabulary. Tamet is creating his own language, strongly influenced by the vowel and Imerit languages in Northern Europe. He already speaks French, German, Spanish, Lithuanian, Irlandic, and Esperanto. The vocabulary of his language, Manti, meaning a type of tree, reflects the relationship between different things. The word Emma, for instance, translates a mother, and Ella is what a mother creates, life, Paiki, a son, and Paivi is what the son creates, they. Tamet hopes to launch Manti in academics circle later this year, his own personal exploration of the power of words and their interrelationship. Last year, Tamet broke the European record for recalling Pi, the mathematical constant, to the furthest decimal point. He found it easy, he says, because he didn't even have to think. To him, Pi isn't an abstract set of digits. It's a visual story, a film projected in front of his eyes. He learned the number for once and backwards and, last year, spent five hours recalling it in front of an adjudicator. He wanted to prove a point. I memorized Pi to 2020-514 decimal places and I am technically disabled. I just wanted to show people that this ability needn't get in the way. Tamed is softly spoken and shy about making eye become intact, which makes him seem younger 
than he is. He lives on the Kent coast, but never goes near the beach. There are too many pebbles to count. The thought of the mathematic problem with no solution makes him feel uncomfortable. Trips to the supermarket are always a chore. There is too much metal stimulus. I have to look at every shape and texture, every price and every arrangement of fruit and vegetables. So instead of thinking, what cheese do I want this week? I am just really unhappy. Thomas has never been able to work nine to five. It would be too difficult to fit around his daily routine. For instance, he has to drink his cup of tea at exactly the same time every day. Things have to happen in the same order. He always brushes his teeth before he has his shower. I have tried to be more flexible, but I always end up feeling more uncomfortable. Retaining a sense of control is really important. I like to do things in my own time and in my own style. So an office with targets and bureaucracy just wouldn't work. Pig was shy and introspective, but he sat and held Thomas' hand for hours. We shared so much, our love of key dates from history, for instance, and our love of books. As a child, I regularly. Took over a room in the house and started my own lending library. I will separate our fiction and non-fiction, and then alphabetize them all. I even introduce a ticketing system. I love books so much. I have read more books than anyone else I know. So I was delighted when Kim wanted to meet in a library. Pig can read two pages simultaneously, one with each eye. He can also recall in exact details the 7,600 books he has read. When he is at home in Utah, he spends afternoon at the Salt Lake City Public Library, memorizing phone books and address directories. He is such a lovely man," says Temet. Kim says, "You don't have to be handicapped to be different. Everybody is different, and he's right." As a baby, he banged his hand against the wall and cried constantly. Nobody knew what were, what was wrong. His mother one was anxious. And would swim him to sleep in a blanket. She breastfeeds him for two years. The only thing that doctors could say was that perhaps he was understimulated. Then one afternoon, when he was playing with his brother in the living room, he had an epileptic fit. <laughs>